Let's give we some can... context to that for a minute. You know, you had told me before here on the show that, you know, the, the travel schedule was just beyond compare, you know, what you were used to with Jim Crockett promotions. And, you know, you had a wife and, and, and a young kid at home and you were missing a lot of critical stuff because, you know, maybe once upon a time, a lot of the towns you were working or drives and you were centrally located in Charlotte. Well, now there's no such thing. Uh, you're on an airplane every single day. First thing in the morning, first flight out of five or 6 AM. So the quality of life is way, way different. Your money's down and you're missing your family. You're getting pressure from every angle here. Are you not? I feel like the roof caved in. Add one more thing to that. If you can believe this now, just like it's hard to believe the $1,500 contract we signed. Right. Somebody in their office came up with the bright idea that, uh, okay, another way to save money is we will fly these guys out to the first day of their loop, whether that be a 10-day loop, 12-day loop, 5-day loop, whatever it may be, but we'll make them buy their own plane ticket home. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What now? You have to buy your own air home? Shake your head. Stick your finger in your ear and ring it out. Yes, you have to buy your own plane ticket home. So I'm going to fly you on this loop and may end up with you ending up in uh, Calgary, Canada. $700 for back then. Now, this is 88 or 89, whatever the year was, dollars. 700 bucks. We ended up one time during this period in Calgary, it cost us 700 bucks to get home. Well, God not, only, not only is that immoral, that could possibly even be illegal. Who knows? But it happened. It's a very real thing. So uh, what are you supposed to think? My God, you're talking about getting kicked in the ass. If there was a dis- question of if we made the right decision or not, <laughs> that ought to button it up for you. Help me understand. I mean, on some of these loops, you know, maybe it was a smaller loop, but if you were complaining that your money was down between your road expenses of, of hotels and eating on the road and things like that, if you've got to pay your $800 way home, there had to be some weeks where you were just barely breaking even, even leaving the house doing this. Well, yeah. I mean, you weren't doing much better. Right. And you know, that's, that's the truth. And, you know, here's the way it kind of shook out. This was the scheduling at that time. It was like 10 days on three days off, five days on three days off. And then it would start over again and it would go as much as that 10 days could shoot up to 17, 17 days on three days off. The five days usually stayed the same, but you know, you know, we kind of did the math and it was like, you were gone gone now 24 days a month right then you had a travel day home then you had a free day and then you had to start getting ready to go back on the road that third day um and you'd take off again and it was just i mean it was skipping here and there and you name it you know there was no rhyme or reason to the scheduling or or the routing it was just insane that's unbelievable We'll be right back.